day two working on the car. Right now it's about about 8.30 in the morning. It's Connecticut, it's cold. It's supposed to get about almost 60 degrees today. I can't wait because I can't stand the cold. But today we're going to continue working on the car. I think pretty much I did everything on the bottom. I know I gotta take this shifter off. Um, maybe undo some transmission lines. Uh, I think I gotta take out the other side of, of the axle. I think that's about it. Just a few things on the bottom to do. Right now I'm gonna be working on the top, taking out the intake, battery, undoing some stuff on the top. All right, let's get to it. There she is. Took out the intake housing and everything. Um, little things I have to do. Just unplug some sensors that go to the automatic transmission. Uh, one there. This uh, one here took that goes to a solenoid. Looks like a ground I gotta undo. Ground wire couple more solenoids down there I gotta unplug there's the old motor mount speaking of motor mounts let me show you guys what I got pick the bees these are solid engine mounts from innovation or innovative yeah innovative these this is the same company I went with when I had my Civic I had some um, innovation solid mounts on the car and those things were nice now for those that don't know solid mounts um, your factory engine mounts. Let me see if I can get a good view on there. These things are made out of a type of rubber. And you know, with rubber, there's more flexion. So when the engine's moving, a lot of it is absorbed in the rubber. The solid mounts are made from like a polyurethane, it's a lot stiffer. So when you have these on your car, 
you'll feel more vibration in your car because a lot of that vibration is being transferred from the engine straight to the car because the, the mounts are more solid but a nice thing about it is you get a better response out of the car so as soon as you hit the gas you know the engine moves a little bit and instead of that engine moving a little bit you know trying to transfer that power to the car because of the solid mounts that power goes straight to the wheels so it's a nice upgrade so this right here is the driver side and it would sit something like that and replace that one and go right in there Okay, I think I'm done up here for now. I just did this harness that goes from the transmission. There's still a connection down there, but I believe that is for the shifter cable. So once I undo the shifter cable, I just take it out from, from down here and pull it up. All right, let's take that off and see how that's looking. Show that so that shifter cable is off. I believe all the wires from the top are disconnected. Down here looks like this transmission line. 
Let's see what else. Uh, oh, there's a sensor here. Let's plug that. Alright, I think it's time to drain the fluid. So what I'm doing here is, I forgot what this is called, I think it's called a flex plate, can't remember, but it bolts to the engine side of the, um, well, yeah, the engine side, and then you have your torque converter that is on the transmission side, and these bolts hold the two together. So right now I'm undoing these two bolts so that way this transmission will come off from the engine side. Alright, so what I did here is I put a 19 millimeter socket on the crankshaft pulley. And as I turn this, this is going to move and allow me to get to the 10 millimeters I need to get to the undo them. Alright, that is all the bolts undone. You can see the Torque converter spinning. That is free. Alright, what else is there to do? So I was just watching a video on how to take the passenger axle out. And from what I've seen, it's a little different from the driver's side. Um, this side you have to punch out. So I'm undoing this shield here and then once I get the shield off then hopefully I can get a punch there and start hammering that out Alright, little update or recap. Um, had to take a moment to figure out what I was going to do here because, because this car has a subframe. The engine is supported with that subframe, which is the rear mount and the front mount. But since that's off, the only thing holding this engine is the driver mount and the passenger mount. So, luckily, I had this brace, this engine brace. Um, luckily I had that, I just set that up, I didn't have a chain, but I put these two straps on here, I doubled them up, and hopefully that works, it should be fine, I'm going to test it out, see what happens, um, I'm going to slowly undo these, and see if, you know, how this is supporting the engine, make sure it's fine, before I continue. And that should be fine.
All right, so I decided to leave this bracket on, but leave the bolts loose so I can get them off again, but snug them up. So that way, when I start to undo the transmission bolts that hold it to the engine, there's not so much strain on them. So this will be holding the transmission as long as well as the brace. So it'll make it easier to start um, unloosening the bolts for the transmission. And once those bolts are out and loose, or at least loose, and then I'll probably pull them out and then take this off at the end. And then the transmission is ready to come down.